Howdy folks, Mac and Steve here. Ugh. Bouncing down 1920 for another volunteer mission with friends of Fall Creek Watershed. And we are out today to get and cut up the metal remains of two trailers. What, a fifth wheel? Um, I think they're just two trailers that were parked next to each other and burned together. So up we go the road. Um, and you've got an asbestos tests on yep. these. Asbestos tests came back negative. So uh, there's a bunch of charred debris that we're not going to be able to get until we get the frames out. So we're cutting the frames out, uh, getting those out of the way, and then we'll come back up with a super sucker, clean up all the ash and all the debris. And ta-da, here they are. And it was quite the pile. Yes. Uh, which way? Right there? Back more? Weak GPS signal. Can't fly. Because it can't get a GPS signal. Yeah, that's a stupid drone that requires GPS to fly. Right. Well, there's a button to turn off GPS. So guess what I've been hitting for like 20 minutes? Yeah. Off. Off. All I want you to do is go 10 feet up, point down, and record. That's The drone moved. It's not even holding position. Down. Grinder.
Electro Low Voltage. Yeah, I would imagine, I would, well, frankly, what I would do is just cut the bolts, the U-bolts off. Yeah. And that way we move the axle separate from the frame. Because the frame, even a small chunk of frame plus the axle might be. What's that? U-bolts and the springs. That's true. Yeah, if we have to cut the springs, why don't cut the springs? If the U-bolts are harder. Well, the springs are hard too. If you uh, cut right here, you cut there. Yeah, Ooh. I'll just cut the. Well, how bad is this? Oh yeah, that's bad. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> Out of batteries. That axle tube bent in the heat. Wow. Let's see, we got that cut. This cut. Oh yeah, I'm gonna screw those. Well, you're doing a really good job sticking around. Yes, you are. You've been a good girl. She's been a good girl. Got a nice chunk there? Yep. We take my impact gun, we might be able to just unbolt those. I hope so. I don't think we have the wherewithal to cut them. Yeah. Well, we can cut the uh, U-bolts, but it's faster to unzip out the bolts. Yeah.
Bueno, ¿qué? I was also going to say it's amazing how hot this thing got because it got hot enough to melt the axles. Yeah. I mean, those things are pancake droops. Are working at all? Um, need something to get the nuts out with. Oh, uh, like you grab the other side or? No, get the nut out of the sock. Oh, <laughs> screw it on just a little bit and yank. Yep. Old mechanic trick. So, some of these I'm able to get off, some of them the threads are melted. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully you can get off enough that we can get off the uh, axle. And if not, then oh well. We tried, right? The other bolt you may under uh, it may be able to undo easier is the spring. Yeah, we need something to hold it. Uh, the spring? I got pliers. Okay. You want? Just give it a spin too, and just see if it'll spin. Oh, it's just a fucking different size. Three quarter. It's on three quarter. Eleven sixteenths. I don't know. Smaller, bigger. Looks like bigger. Yep, that one. Well, no, they're different sizes. Oh, on either side? Yeah. Circuit board. There's some metal in it. I win. Awesome. This is going to work much better. Now, will they actually come out? Can you spin that all the way out while I tap? Might I need have. to take a hammer to it. Yep. Uh, how about the top one? Can I get a grip on it before no. you squeeze the... Uh, <laughs> can I get a grip on it before you... Okay. Try it. Ooh, got that one out, nice. Awesome. All right, uh, that's one side. Yep. Uh, do uh, pine cones uh, blossom and uh, RV fires? <laughs> or whatever, you know, don't, don't a lot of those have to, that's got a lot of, Little junko in it. It come? Don't feel like it did. Just turning here. Can't get a grip on it because of uh got melted shit on it. Let's try the other one. That's less of melted shit, it's more just access. Can't get up. Now try it. There you go. That was a good move. Uh, torching it out. Those are so heavy. 
Yep, well, let me know if you need help. Probably. Okay, we'll put them on top. Might be easier to also take the tires off. Take the rims off. Should say the tires are already off. <laughs> I'll take the tires off. <laughs> theoretically someone or yeah, theoretically someone already did. That's just a little bit of cord left, so I'm happy to do that. Lady, did you escape? Are you escaping? Did you escape? Did you escape? Are you escaping? You did good, just hanging out there with the window all open all by yourself. Oh, helps to have a battery on here, doesn't it? Yeah, I took the battery off. So we had to get the blade off. Okay. Twist. Boom. There's more blades on my uh I got some in here. I guess it did come off. This is an experiment. Okay, well, you do you. If it wasn't for the fact that the nuts keep getting stuck in the gun, yeah, it'd be a NASCAR zip, 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 zip thing, but uh. See if you can get that ring out. How much weight does that reduce it by? That much? Yeah. You're, you're helpful. That sound good? Yep. Good. You're uh, in the spot. You okay? Yep. Actually, I think that got this one off too. You hopping well? I'm gonna slide the uh, yep. out of the danger zone. Highway two. The danger zone. All right, are we gonna flip this? Yep. Flip it good. <coughs> That's whip it. Flip it. Oh, okay. Where do you want me? Are they coming in? Yep. It's coming behind me. Behind? Right in front of me. Not sure what I'm doing here. 
There you go. Watch it. Yeah. There it goes. Oh, got, got stuck. Wow, how did we do that? Oh, okay. I can live with that. Nobody got hurt, nobody got maimed, nobody got injured. So. All right, All right so, so we left the good one for last. We might be able to... Unbolt? Do something. Oh, why don't you unbolt the uh, springs and we'll remove the metal from the axle. Yep, flip it over. Where's the... Oh, there it is. That gat gun. Uh, do you want that one or this one? Uh, yeah, that'll They'll do. both come off. Yeah, they both will. Lady, did you escape again? Do you think we need the net on this or just a couple straps? Uh, I don't even think we need straps, personally, but that stuff's in there pretty good. What do you think? I think we've layered it pretty well. Shot of that. All right. Hopefully we don't get stuck. Okay? Yeah. Try to steer it away from your camera. That's all right. It'll live. It's still well, recording through that whole thing. Just move the tailgate. Might as well put the tailgate on. Yeah. Oh, you're so close. That's just so close. See how nice that is? Yeah. Nice and get away with murder with those. Well, there's nothing to eat in there. Please don't eat it. Do we want to, or are we just going to take the whole thing? No, put it on top. It'll hold stuff down. That was my intention. Towards the back? Yep. Uh, actually, let me put, uh, flip it over so it curves down over the load. I've lost what we're doing here, so um, am I picking this up? Yep. Setting it on the side. Setting. So we'll flip it over. I don't want to be here. Yeah. Need to be here. Oh, that uh, sickness that I got earlier this week has left me very uh, not strong. Okay, that's far enough. Oh, okay, well. Don't want it right there. Well, I'll come here. Come on. Well, I'll... You want to uh, try a drone swoop through here while I pick up a little bit of things? No. Cool. <laughs> Sorry. Bye.
My hand is. I don't think we need to bring the tractor out to this. No. Super sucker and... No, I was I was only talking about bringing the tractor to aid in the yeah. laboring of the metal. If I could uh, load all the metal at the same time, yeah, then it would make the trip worth it. Yep. And so this is what pisses me off about all of these is I just want a quick fly. Yeah. And waiting for GPS signal. You know what I mean? Yeah, you need one of the little line of sight relative ones. Now I can turn off GPS and I can manually fly it. Or maybe not. Why is this not connecting? Come on. Turned off GPS. Disconnected. Why is it disconnected? I like the uh, handy use of an I-beam. Or technically a wide flange, but you know, I still call them I-beams. What's that? It's uh, probably uh, pulling a big, uh, pulling the magnet away from the uh, base. Oh, cool.
so we got how many pounds of metal out of the woods? 3,100 pounds of trash from those two burned our uh, fifth, uh, trailers. They were just regular old trailers. And trash as in recyclable metal. Yes. Stuff that we didn't have to take to the landfill. Yes. And stuff that we could turn back into pop yes. cans. Well, I guess not pop cans. Turn back into more fifth wheels. Yes, more fifth wheels. <laughs> the, the cycle repeats. Yes, it's the cycle of life. Thanks everybody for watching. Catch you guys at the next cleanup. Get on out there and volunteer. Have a good day.